Hi guys, Tungsten here. So I received this Revolver 357. So let's do the uh, unboxing and uh, take a look at what's inside. Right? So um, so this is what I have. Uh, so it comes with a suction cup type of darts. Over here. As you can see the packaging is uh, just like uh, all the... <laughs> Okay, so you have an extra kind of a drum, kind of a suppressor kind of thing. This is the uh, the red dot side. Yeah. Pair of goggles, battery. This is a charger, right? And then the blaster itself. So let's just take a look and uh, arrange it. Uh, Around and have a look. Let's just remove everything. So we have this uh, over here. Okay, just put it all around. Okay. Alright, so this is what they call let me just have a look a revolver 357 right okay so today we're just going to take a look uh, at uh, how it works I'll get the uh, battery charge up okay and then uh, we'll do some firing tests and uh, see how is it and my impression of it right and later on I probably you know going to uh, dismantle this and take a look at the inside as well yeah. Alright, so this is the uh, battery state here 7.4 volt. Yeah, right. Okay, so I've charged it up with the um, the uh, charger that comes with it. So this guy over here, so it's pretty easy. You just plug it in. There's only one way to do it, and then uh, plug it to your USB source. So this thing will light up in red. Uh, I think when it's fully charged, you will just uh, the LD light will just uh, switch off. So that's how this thing works. Right, so the uh, blaster itself, <laughs> this suppressor. Now, this guy is pretty flimsy, as you can see, it just uh, kind of uh, broke off like this. So, most likely, it's not going to be that useful. So, most likely, uh, I'll not fit it in for now. This guy over here, mm, there's this pack over here. I think you just remove it. Uh, it does not really have a. I don't think it have a very good kind of a kind of a pinpoint kind of thing. It's more like a light effect, so uh, not like what we have. And then the uh, plastic is uh, pretty pretty flimsy. Okay, it's more for cosmetic use. I don't think you can use it to aim much is that's a, like a crosshair okay probably that's what you use to aim which is not what uh, this thing is supposed to be right it's supposed to be a red dot but anyway again for some, some cosmetic stuff so that's that and now the main body right so it's like this you can just press it and you rotate now this lever is for you to flip it out and you can actually remove this piece over here Right now, very curiously, there there is a button over here. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's try to put the battery inside and see what's the deal. Okay, so let's just do that.
okay so I put it in so this piece over here you just kind of slot it in and you just clip into place there's a hole here but there is no screw but uh, it is friction fit enough so I don't think you need that okay so uh, yeah so let's just load it up and see what's the deal so these drums are you know six shots over here you can see there is a small friction at the right at the, at the end okay let me see whether I can focus it okay then you can, uh, can have a better look okay, you can see at right at the end there's some friction kind of deal so that will keep your dart in place okay let me see yeah let's get, yep okay so okay so let's do that okay so put it in okay so i think it's pretty okay okay so i guess with that last portion that is a oh <laughs> let me see okay that, that's particularly tight okay six all right so of course you have an extra one right so let's take a look again press this lever <laughs> to release oh okay oh okay so pressing this does ref okay and then but you press the trigger it also ref okay this refs and this refs okay so you have two options pretty nice okay okay Okay, you can always like flip it in right <laughs> let's see let's see whether i can do it oh <laughs> yeah it can be done okay so people like to do this and then flip it in <laughs> all right so there we have it we have this okay the uh, plastic quality okay it's not the so-called the best uh but it's not flimsy so it's not the idea very poor it's not gonna feel like it's gonna break on you but the finishing yeah uh, there is a quite a fair bit of uh, finishing that is uh, not uh, well taken care of like for example at the back you can see here but uh, you can just I guess you can just uh, screw it in the side here everything is pretty squarish okay this is not exactly big as you can see even my small finger is like going to cover the whole thing so people with big finger maybe it's, <laughs> it's just enough to go through but again uh, you still can assess it's not like the end of the world the edges are a little bit uh like i say squarish so you might cut not say cut but rub against your finger but it is not exactly sharp okay uh, in my opinion so it's still acceptable in my uh, opinion yep so there we go something like this this barrel piece is pretty thin okay so not the best but overall i'm surprised that the size is not exactly big so if i were to compare with my spam it is actually not not that big okay from from the video i thought it's, it's pretty big but now when i take a look at it it is not all right it is not okay it is uh, in fact uh, pretty small okay you right. can hold it yeah so let's take a look at the fps right let's go all right let's do the uh, fps test okay let's have the chronograph okay so you can ref then or you can simply put a trigger okay so i'm just going to put a trigger yeah because i prefer like you know you just put it here 62 okay this is not register did not register oh my chronograph is ready acting free okay 63 <laughs> oh wow 100 probably that's a that's not the uh, correct reading okay so i need to refill and i'll be back Alright, so we have a new one. Okay, so let's try. 61. 
59 50 <laughs> 66 53 That's not, do not register and that's about it right so i i will conclude it's around 50 to 60 the uh, chronograph reading and that is with the provided shark string cup uh, kind of uh, darts yeah okay so let's uh, try the waffle head darts to see whether it works and uh, let's see the fps okay 43 did not register <laughs> this end is one one two which is probably wrong one 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 four uh not to sure it's correct okay 45 okay it did not came off i think that's about it okay so i think it's around 40 plus to 50 now i tried with the worker head darts uh, it doesn't seem to fire that well okay so uh, with the instruction cup I think it's fired the best uh, with the highest FPS but then again it's, it could be because it's I think it's lighter okay in terms of weight yeah and uh, waffle head does I think it's uh, the, the more reasonable kind of FPS I think it's about 45 to 50 at most for the worker that I tried uh, off camera I can't get it to fire well so later on maybe we'll just dismantle this guy and have a look and see what's the deal over here and also take a look at the internal of this blaster all right so I've taken out the uh, battery itself um, and let's see how this uh, mechanism work so over here if I remove this if we were to take a look at uh, the, the so-called the trigger ring okay so if if you if i trigger you see that there's two pieces of well, one is a pusher one is to advance the drum okay so like this so this piece below is on a spring all right so when it touch the drum it will just you know, you know push and then you spring back and then you just move the drum itself all right so this is roughly how it works and then for the battery for moment you can see that the battery is pretty small this is my 2s uh, lipo battery so you can see that it's actually pretty small and for now uh, this cannot even go through right okay and uh, yeah although it seems like it have enough space but uh, it cannot go through unless I want to maybe do some modification and permanently fix it in mm -hmm. so that's one okay so now but however i think this guy have a pre, uh, quite a good modding potential the blaster itself uh it does have a lot of uh, potential in terms of um, modification i can simply design something that can put the battery underneath and then extend the whole portion kind of uh okay uh let's see whether i can find something to as a quick <laughs> representation yeah so for example the front you know, we can design something to kind of uh, in this manner and then uh, a more interesting front and you'll still not look too big and then the battery might be able to go inside and then uh, you can improve the flywheel and uh, even the top you can flush it with a new, new set of uh, rails I realize this rails looks a little bit flat and as in the size is not exactly uh, the height especially is not exactly I don't know what we used to so I wouldn't say that it is the uh, kind of official kind of size yeah but uh, like I say this has a great uh, modding potential okay and I certainly would like to spend some time to see how we can uh, do some modding with this okay okay like i say it's not flimsy and uh it is actually pretty affordable all right okay yeah all right i'm pretty curious uh what's the inside looks like so i'm gonna take it apart 
and let's take a look right so let's remove this portion and then let's just uh, unscrew everything and then we will be back right alright so uh, there are quite a number of screws and some is from the front some from the back as you can see there's one here there's one here so yeah so it come into pieces so this portion you can just remove it is by itself and then there's a spring so this is basically for the catch so it can be easily removed quite interesting right and then this whole piece uh, if you were to separate it out and then it'll be like this this barrel itself is pretty bad okay it's not uh, so called in place or anything so it's a uh, quite pretty bad piece okay probably definitely when you mod uh, and you probably want to replace this and then you can see the flywheel itself uh, it is uh, two parts okay okay so uh, <laughs> uh, yeah so it's an interesting design <laughs> yeah so this portion I believe you can also remove and then you come out yourself I'll say for painting it's definitely easy then this whole thing can be sort of uh, removed so you can see uh, this is a 130 probably motor okay I assume okay you have to really take it apart in order to know and uh, yeah so there's not much of a space over here let's just take a look again okay if I were to put it in okay so maybe you really have to go for a 130 motor and uh, yeah so something like that okay uh hmm okay so uh yep so let's maybe i'll take a measurement yeah probably you can't really fit something that's too big yeah so 130 it is uh most likely yep unless you have some gonna redesign that portion a little bit okay but uh we do have nice 130 motor so yeah so we can, i guess we can use those and that is more or less the internals okay pretty simple construction and then of course inside there's this thing over here that just yes it's just on a one lever and then uh the whole thing is like uh this is attached to this portion as well on a spring okay yeah yeah so uh yeah so if i were to remove the uh, just remove the entire thing uh inside just the wiring so i think that is all i need to know okay and i can probably find some changes do some changes to the motor itself and uh yeah the channeling is uh is i think it's convenient it's just underneath back and then to this portion so there it's quite okay yep so this is the internal of this bus i'll say uh for modding potential that is, that is definitely there and uh let's see if i have the time to do something about it <laughs> all right i'm trying to figure out why it does not fire the uh worker that that well okay from uh just now firing because it does seems like uh the flywheel can push through the uh, darts pretty easily it's not gonna jam or anything and in fact it doesn't even it doesn't even hit on the dart, dart head alright okay so hmm, I don't think it have a problem to push through the darts so it's uh, pretty strange so I'm gonna try so this is like the suction cup so if you were to put it in like this okay if we were to put it through okay you can see okay it does engage the flywheel quite a bit okay and in terms of alignment uh, I think it's pretty fine yeah okay okay so that's that Let's push it back in. Let's get the uh, worker head darts. Okay. Same deal. Mm. Okay, 
it seems to have uh, some resistance for some reason hmm the, push, the pusher doesn't seem to want to move but let's try okay okay <laughs> okay let's try again hmm okay moving why is it not hitting okay all right okay so i guess it doesn't seem to catch that well as you can see uh, it doesn't engage the flywheel hmm so i think the wheel is actually not there okay to, to catch the darts that could be the problem <laughs> Okay, so let's try again. Okay, so if you push, and for some reason, it takes a lot of. Okay, we go. Okay, okay, so you can see that the wheel barely touches. Okay, it doesn't really touch the worker head darts. So it could be a case of simply the. Uh, Dust doesn't engage. Yeah. Okay, you can see, you can clearly see that it does engage for this uh this uh suction cup style. I would say. So let's again try out. Yep. You can see it barely even touches the wheel. Okay, so that could be the problem. That could be the problem, not the uh, force or anything. Yep. All right, some final thoughts. Uh, I think this blaster is definitely a fun blaster. Okay. Um, it got it got a uh, quite a fair bit of modding potential. Like I mentioned, I can uh, kind of uh, I'll not have this. I'll not have this. I can extend the front. And then uh, to somehow find a way to fit the battery for to the front and then do some modification and the uh, revving from the trigger is actually quite easy okay you just release a little bit and you rev so this button itself if i were to mod it it can now be a extra button for you to maybe do some led works and since if you plan to have the uh, so-called battery to the front this space could be the one that can have a separate circuit for your lighting effect and that is even better right okay so yeah so pretty fun blaster to have and uh, it's not that expensive plastic is pretty decent uh, not gonna break on you anytime and yeah and all the pieces are actually easy to take out and uh, it's separate pieces so it's easy to paint as well so even the blue pieces is you know you can easily uh, split it out so all in all i'm very happy with this purchase and i kind of like the idea of maybe doing some modding with it in the future and see what i can come up with but then again i have so many projects on hand so let's see how it goes and yeah i'm tungsten thanks for watching uh see you in the next video and uh, if you have not subscribed please subscribe and uh, hit like for the video thank you very much bye